For weeks, the Miss World Kenya franchise sought to look for beauties to represent Kenya in this year's Miss World 2010 celebrations. However, beauty was not the only thing required of the finalists. The Miss World Kenya franchise partnered with the Hardy Kenya Trust to offer the young beauty queens a chance at community development. The jigger or sand flea is a blood-sucking parasite found in the sandy terrain of warm and dry climates. The female targets animals and human beings by burrowing under the soles of their feet, toe webs, toenails and fingernails. The irritation or itchiness felt is as a result of inflammation and ulceration caused by the female jigger laying eggs, passing fecal matter and breathing through a small dot marking the point of penetration. Though jiggers die after two weeks and are shed off through the host's skin, if the parasite breaks off and dies while still under the skin, infection results in inflammation, ulceration, fibrosis, lymphangitis, gangrene, sepsis, loss of nails, auto-amputation of the affected digits, or death. The finalists got a chance to experience what it entails to treat jigger infestations at the Gatundu South Ahadi Kenya Trust office located in central Kenya. They learned how to disinfect and treat jigger victims as well as fumigate homes so as to prevent reinfestation. It is through this experience that Natasha Metal, Miss World Kenya 2010, nurtured her passion for children and has dedicated her time and energy to improving the lives of children all over Kenya. Through the help of a Hardy Kenya Trust and Cecilia Mwangi, a former Miss World Kenya, Natasha Meto has made numerous visits helping treat and rehabilitate jigger victims in Kenya. I learned what it entails to be a beauty with a purpose and uh, I brought it back home and here, here I am, I've been working on um, an initiative, the anti jigger campaign since 2007. And I'm privileged to also have on board the Miss World Kenya 2010, who's taken um, the mantle with me. And we are going to spread the word around. We are going to eradicate jiggers together. We want to make a difference in our community together. Though locals use pins and other sharp pointed objects to extract the parasites, the process of extraction and the severity of the infestation may result in permanent damage to the hands and feet or the contraction of HIV AIDS. This widens the poverty gap in Kenya with family members not being able to work or go to school due to amputated digits or dying from HIV AIDS related illnesses. I'm holding a one and a half year old Ngugi. As you can see, He's infested with jiggers. He wants to be a lawyer, a teacher, maybe a director of a certain company. So please, let us make a difference and make tomorrow a better day for them. Ahadi Kenya Trust provides victims with medication, advises them how to fumigate their homes, teaches them inexpensive ways of maintaining proper hygiene and sanitation, and provides mechanisms to help jigger infected children go back to school. According to our estimations is that uh, to be able to treat, fumigate their homes and rehabilitate one child, it costs as little as 5,000 bob. And that 5,000 bob includes buying them shoes, books and clothes to go back to school. In cases of abject poverty, a Hardy Kenya Trust also constructs latrines for those using unsafe structures or for those with no latrines at all. As you can see behind me, this is a latrine that Mudoni, who's five years old, uses with her family. And this poses a huge risk, especially when it's raining, they can continue to get jiggers. This Kenya Woka, you would have been a Siena Duty, Nanonia de Aziana Berena Vinosio, Naradimoni, Kayonawa Gainda Musokaria Gado, 
ona inywe inywe onde murathimwa tondu ni murimu na ti mundu utumaga Natasha Metal has also made numerous trips to children's homes urging Kenyans to help society by helping the less fortunate children while at the Great Hope Korogocho Children's Home Natasha Metal helped cook and hand out food to the children over Kenya, young children look forward to living lives worth more than a dollar a day. Natasha Metal, Miss World Kenya 2010, is committed to helping children achieve this dream by working with organizations to help provide proper sanitation, three square meals a day, medication and affordable hospital treatment, and free primary education to all children regardless of their age, religion, status, race, or tribe. Oh, fancy. <laughs>